Oh, 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 that's bright. What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Woo, bright and early this morning. Uh, it's already like, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is every bit of 85 degrees already. But we got guests, and we got big plans. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, there's Soph. Hey, Soph. Where you at? Oh, there's Bear. Oh, what up? What up? You ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. We got a lot of unpacking in the shop to do to get the Argo loaded up. Is it buried out there? It's buried. Preston going? He's got yeah, to go. Got woke up. Oh, as he woke up. We're headed out to the lease. Uh, Y'all haven't been out to my lease for a long time, and I haven't either. And are we going to be able to go to the Big Marsh? Huh? Can we go to the Big Marsh? Yeah, probably. We'll call Evan up. Call Evan. And we'll go to the Big Marsh, hopefully. <laughs> But uh, we're headed out today to go check on the lease, go look and see how much water's in it. When I was in Hawaii, uh, it rained a ton, so I'm really anxious to see how much water's in it, and hopefully if it's going to hold all summer long. But before we get into that, two things. Uh, Sunday, we're giving away, uh-huh, over at the podcast, we're giving away the Alaska hunt. We're choosing the winner. So guys, very, very, very limited time remaining for you to get your butt over to the podcast yes it's on patreon yes it costs five dollars a month um but it's not bad no everybody knew that we've gotten over there loves it yeah they have nothing bad to say uh the best comment i got was probably yes yesterday and the guy was like bob i just want to let you know uh i like going over there because i like just seeing you all you guys be yourself but what i mean by that is we can use language that i can't use on here we can talk about politics adult things whatever it is so uh yeah last chance to get over there tell all your buddies to do it as well because uh hunt of a lifetime over i mean what did we calculate it up you're looking at a twenty thousand dollar hunt fifteen thousand dollar yeah, hunt for for two deal. lucky winners yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna too. be unreal it's gonna be an awesome trip now you've been sinking your teeth into all the flights still yeah i got both of ours our stuff's done we just need to figure out further whoever the two winners are yep but the podcast will be linked at the top of the description uh it's always at the top of the description go hit it go check it out I guarantee it's it's entertaining enough for you to get a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. This is the July Ducks t-shirt of the month. Check that bad boy out. Old Hollywood Spoonzilla. Uh-huh. That's a juicer, dude. I like it. That's one of my favorites so far. That's a good design, my man. Like good it? design, my man. We had that one in the bank for a while. Yeah. I'm waiting to bust it out. Yeah. Dude, it looks sweet. Wrong? It's literally. Between that one and the Widgeon one, I really like the Widgeon one. I really like the Spec one. Everyone has seemed to really like the Species shirts. The you guys species. have seemed to like the Species shirts we've come out with. Yeah. Which is good news because now until December, probably, we've got pretty much all Species coming out. Ooh. Designs just like the Mr. Hollywood. So um, they're going to be good. Check yeah. them out. If you guys have a uh, shirt idea, a Species shirt idea, drop a comment down below for old Bradley. And let him know he's always up to new ideas let's get on the road we got to load nargo and get sweaty we can't head to the lease in the argo without my main man frederick uh he has been in training oh there he is he's happy to see dad oh i miss him so much i haven't seen fred since before I went to Hawaii, it's been well over, it's probably been almost three weeks, over two weeks. Hi, Frederick. Oh, hi there, Frederick. Look at all the dogs. This is my buddy Charlie training Frederick again. Hi, buddy. Oh. Come on. Oh, hi there, Frederick. He's a happy boy. Holy smokes. Oh, Frederick, here. He'll sit. Oh, 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 oh. Fred. Fred. Hold up. Good boy. Good dog. Good boy. Get in there. Yep, your buddy's in there too. My clown shoes. Yeah, the old kickers you got going on there. You are ready. Look at you. The whole way here, we've been going by fields that we hunt, drooling. The last thing Brad said was, Bob, I really just don't like summer. It sucks. And I'm like, yeah, 
All we get to do is sweat. That's all we do is sweat. Oh, Frederick. But yeah, Frederick's at the, uh, at the trainer. I have not told you guys anything about it. Uh, I'll be doing an update on Frederick video. Give you the whole rundown, what my plan is with him and why. Because a lot of you have been asking and concerned, is he gonna go and do the hip surgery or not? I have a lot of the updates that you don't wanna miss. So that video will be coming in a few. What are you doing, man? Put the plugs in so we don't sink. <laughs> Good call. Good call. It's only a few foot deep, but that could get squirrely real quick. Look at it. We got to give it, give it a moment here. Oh, yeah. just purrs like a kitten. But maybe not. <laughs> no, I shut it off. I shut it off. Oh, Fred goes, oh, hell yeah. It's on. Oh. One thing about a dog running in front of a machine. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Especially uh, in the summer like this, they're not used to hunting. They're hot. They get hot real quick, so they try to stay close to you. And we've almost hit them twice. <laughs> but this corn right here, oh boy. Dude, I haven't had corn on the leaf field dude, for a long time. I don't think ever, I don't remember. One year, uh, that was like two or three years ago. Uh, me and Gerald actually got like two mallard hunts in the middle of the field. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it'll be good. Come on, Frederick. Hey! Old bear dog. I can't tell. It should be after those cattails up there. Look at this. The corn is planted right up against it. Yeah! This is going to be money. As long as it's got water in it. You think it's got water? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, she's got water, boys. <laughs> Not a lot of water. There goes the dog. There she is. It's got decent water in it. Does that feel good, dog? See, the thing is, how do you, what do we do to give it more water? You know what I mean? I don't, I can't necessarily bring a, a bobcat in here or my lease contract here does state you can't like, mess with it. Yeah. Now, I don't think Jim would care if I, you know, killed some weeds or did a little bit of something, something, but what do you do? Keep water in this thing. Nothing. I don't. I if you know. dry it up, bring a sheep's foot in and pack it in, but pack it. I think that's all you do. Let it dry up and then put the sheep's foot just pack it tighter so that it's wait for the next rain. Scrape it. Scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. The Long thing mind. is, I, there's no pump on it. There's no well or anything like that. It's just what it naturally holds. But this right here ain't bad. For the amount of rain that we've gotten the last month, I figured that there was going to be more, so that's not good. Don't tell me that. It's going to be like every single year, and it's probably going to go dry by the first of October. I remember years ago when Patterson was super cold. This thing was a big huge sheet water up yeah. into the field. Look how far it goes way back. It should dam up way back there. We need yeah. a big late rain. Well, and look back there. If it does get a big late rain, that corn is going to be flooded. Yeah. Let's go look at that. The dog. <laughs> All right. That's yeah, still, it pulls water a little bit back here though. You know what I mean? If it floods, dude, Yeah, I like it like this because you can see how actually big this depression in the ground yeah. is. You imagine though, it, this is wet still right here, keep going to the edge. Dude, yeah, so that, that's the full size over there, man. If, like you said, if we get a late rain with this corn here, whoo, it could be dirty, dude. What's the guy do? You're limited. What did I do? 
if it dries up, do you come in here and mow all this down? There's another outfitter. When this thing was completely full. Really? Oh, dude. It was an amazing duck and goose hunt. Wow. Like, and I still have not got that one time. And I've owned or leased it for what? This would be my fourth year? Fourth year. Fourth year. And I've only hunted it. The water portion, I bet you, under a handful of times. Dude, the mosquitoes are real. Are you Horrible. getting ate up? Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty <laughs> What are you doing? You coming over here, Brad? You doing it? What? We're back at the lodge here, and earlier I showed you all the podcast setup. There's a lot of you that haven't experienced the podcast because a lot of you are not subscribed to it over on Patreon. This is what it is, and after we get done with the end of my video... All three of us are going to sit down, and what topic are we hitting today on the podcast? Water swatting. Yes. So we're going to go over water swatting and whether we think it's ethical, yes, no, and why we think what we think. There's some good topics on this. I made it a uh, Instagram discussion, and boy, yeah. did it pop up. Off. I bet it did. So some people like, get fired up. Yeah, it's going to be a really good one. Like I said, if this is the last chance to get joined up over at the podcast, five bucks a month, you can be entered to win the Alaska hunt. We are choosing Sunday. Sunday. Sunday's podcast will announce the winner, and the winner can bring a buddy or whoever you want for two guys. It's a hunt of a lifetime. Uh, with the cost yeah. of hunts and flights for the two winning individuals. It's like $15,000. Easily. Uh, Charlie Somerville uh, at Illusion Waterfowlers uh, up in Cold Bay, Alaska. He is providing the hunts, and it's during my birthday, the 18th to the 25th of September. My, my birthday is the 21st, so it's going to be a party, and mm -hmm. whoever wins this thing is going to be there with us. We wanted to tell you all about it and just let you know that this is the last chance to join before we draw sunday tell everybody yeah it's gonna be so much fun charlie was down here what month or two ago talking all about it and i can't stop thinking about he it he got us fired up he did absolutely got us fired up tarsled brant y'all sea ducks it's gonna be amazing um but as far as um the lease i, I, I if we don't constantly get rain it's gonna be like every mm. other I can't cuss because this is the YouTube mm -hmm. channel. That's another thing about the podcast. We just get to be us and say whatever the heck we want to. So, um, But if we don't get some constant rain coming, and it's going to dry up on me again. Yeah. Uh, that I, There's nothing you can do about it. We got, many, we got to look into it. So I called the farmer about it when after we left just now. I called the farmer. I was like, hey, is there anything that you wouldn't mind me doing? Um, like... Preston said, maybe when it dries up, get in there, mow it, disc it a little bit, then sheep's foot, pack it down. Really, really good with a heavy sheep's foot. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, that might not be an issue. He said, but the years that it does flood, it ruins that field, all the crops. I so bet. that's their main uh, concern is if it did hold better, hey, that's cool for you, me being the hunter, but they're like, They've lost a lot of crops. Yeah. They've had to insure that field for loss so many years. I've seen it bad. He did offer, uh, you know, slightly offer. He was like, now, what about putting a well on it? Because a lot of farmers, when you lease from them, they don't, if you want to pay to put a well on something, they're like, hell yeah. Mm, yeah. Because they can use that well later to pasture uh, cattle or whatever. I would pay the money to put a well on it. The problem is you can't just go hunt it. The, uh, there's a law that states you can't just put in a well, pump water, and then go kill ducks. You can't do that. You can put in a well for livestock and hunt it. Yeah. But you can't just put in a well to pump the water to just hunt off of. It doesn't matter if you're guiding. That has nothing do, to do with it. Money Making money, that has nothing to do with it. It's got to be – that water has to be provided for livestock so yeah or and yeah the water's for the crops the the water table all that stuff is allocated to crops and that's why it's so hard especially here in kansas mm -hmm. uh our water 
you know, it's it runs very low, especially when we get hot like this. Farmers got corn. We we went and looked at all the corn fields this year. It's going to be great. Uh, but they're, they they got to water all these fields, and there is a huge restriction on water usage and tapping into the water table. So we're not going to babble here too long. Uh, again, join the podcast. Uh, not only are we doing the Alaska give Alaska giveaway, but uh, we're also doing the Sand Hill giveaway for this. It'll be in January. We're going to do the drawing probably th- around the 1st of September for that one. Like I said, uh, I don't do a lot of giveaways here on the channel, but I do do I do do quite a bit of giveaways, hunts, that is, over at the podcast. So Yeah, you guys are the diehards, the ones that want to hear about Absolutely. everything that's going on, so we want to give we, something back to we're you. We're always giving back, and we've had to touch on that in less than 30 seconds here. We've had a lot of people, believe me, reach out, and I understand – reach out and say, hey, what about your longtime viewers that can't afford uh, to afford five bucks a month? Why don't you do a giveaway for them? Look, I get it, guys. I understand you got a point. But at the same time, I don't see, that sounds rude and kind of big-headed, but I don't see anybody else over here cranking out like P. Diddy and I do, uh, making videos and podcasts every single week. We pump out and um, we crank out the podcast. There's a new one, at least one every week. Yeah, uh, and they're really juicy. And, and when the season comes back around, uh, it's gonna there's gonna be a lot more and a lot more to talk about. It's Stuff going awesome. on, people coming in. It's gonna be awesome. Everything yeah. from clients, good and bad hunts, good and bad weather, dogs, and a lot more clientele here at Sandhill Flyways this year. So, yep, that's it. We're done. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. We'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.